Speed and Custom, project manager and bike designer. Uh, and I'm Tom from Shaw Speed and Custom and I am a bike builder. This is the FS1200R. Okay, so the bike came about after a meeting with Free Spirits, who are an Italian company that designed parts for Sportsters, Harleys, Triumphs, and a lot of other different bikes. Um, we had a bit, a bit of a chat about doing a collaboration bike. Um, Twelve months later, I got a phone call to say that they were up for doing something. Did we have anything in, in mind to build? Pretty much give us a free, free card to build exactly what we wanted. They supplied us with a load of the parts on the bike, and we decided we'd go for a, a flat tracker style bike. Um, Harley Europe spoke to us about a year ago when the advent of the Indian FTR 1200 was coming out with an idea as to could we build something with a Sportster with simple bolt-on Harley parts. Um, this is how we did it and we tried to take it to the next level and make the bike look as cool and race as possible. We've used a lot of different parts on there from Free Spirits and a lot of hand fabrication. Um, I'll hand over to Tom and Tom will talk you through what he's built and all the parts that we've used on the bike. Right, so we'll start out at the front. We have a standard roadster wheel uh, with a Dunlop DT3 flat track tyre. The forks are also standard uh, with shaved uh, lower legs to get rid of the caliper mounts and the fender brackets. Around this side, we've got stock caliper with a uh, Free Spirits front disc. Up here, we've got a handmade sheet metal number board uh, with a mesh insert as well, so we've got the headlight hidden inside it. Up here we've got motor gadget um, speedo with free spirits risers and free spirits XR1200 yokes. XR750 bars with PM clutch perch and brake master cylinder. Rental grips and Rizoma bar end indicators. The tank's from a Street 750, which has been modified to fit the Sportster. We were originally going to go for a stock Harley paint uh, scheme, but last minute we decided to go for the Free Spirits logos, and the paint was done by uh, Image Design and Custom. We've got a Diamond Range fuel cap. The air filter, we wanted to get some inspiration from the older flat track bikes that were running the carbs and the air filter out the back, so we've modified a, a Harley heavy breather Sportster pipe with a Milwaukee 8 heavy breather filter turned round. The frame's been quite heavily modified, the whole bike was stripped down to the frame and repainted. Uh, all the unnecessary brackets and bits and pieces were cut off and smoothed out. Up the back we have a XR750 seat unit which again has been modified, uh, it's been pinched in at the front for a nicer shape. Scott from SM Trimming did the seat for us. Around the back we've got Free Spirits riser blocks for the shocks. Olin's piggyback shocks. The rear wheel is a standard front wheel uh, which has been fitted, uh, so we've run a 19 inch front and rear uh, with a matching Dunlop tyre. Chain and sprocket conversion uh, with the handmade spacers for that. Around this side we've got uh, another Free Spirits disc with a standard caliper and a Free Spirits mount on this side. So the swing arm is a stock unit that's been modified with the fork brace and the Free Spirits logo has been cut out to accent that. These cans were made by John from RaceFit, uh, they're one off made for us. The header pipes were made in-house, uh, they're handmade from two inch stainless pipe. The number board is also handmade from one piece of sheet steel. We've got RSD Moto pegs with Free Spirits brake lever and Gear, change, or gear lever the other side and an XR 1200 belly pan that was also a free spirits unit. So I hope you like the bike and we'll get it outside and give it a run. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when the next Bike Shed video is going to be released.